my name's Sean Ballard. I uh, am a mathematician, that's my training. Uh, I've been working at James Cook University since 1993. My research areas uh, in, have been in sort of traditional applied mathematics. So in particular to do with uh, fluid flow problems and the particular application that I looked at during my PhD was to do with airflow over mountains. My career since then has become a lot broader and I do have an understanding of how working across disciplines will, uh, is of benefit in, in, a, in a very general context. I like the underpinnings in mathematics. I like the strong sort of theoretical foundation and the amazing structures and patterns that appear in the mathematics that, that, that sits underneath all of this. But I also like the opportunity that data science provides in terms of developing cross-disciplinary collaborations. Data science itself necessarily involves that collaboration and I think that's one of the most powerful aspects of it is that drive to understand across disciplines and then optimise uh, what's in both areas or what's in multiple areas for the betterment of the problem that we're trying to understand. The foundation that we're dealing with is more than just a foundation for data science, it's a foundation for other areas of mathematics and I think that's one of the really nice things about this. Data science is not going to go away. The uh, sort of speed at which we're gathering data as a society uh, is increasing. There's all sorts of ways that we collect data routinely now and we all sort of almost collect it by accident. I think alongside of that will be, there'll probably be a, a sort of a correction in the sense that we tend to collect a lot of data now without really thinking about what its purpose is. And I think one of the natural things that we might want to do is work out ways of, of understanding what data we should be collecting. So and I think this is where the human context and understanding these different discipline contexts becomes really powerful. So if we don't ask the right questions in the first place, then we're probably collecting data that's not that helpful. So yes, collect data by all means if it's easy to do so, but think very carefully about how we're doing that and what we, what we might do better in terms of collecting data that's going to be best for answering the questions that we want to answer.